Okay, you ready? Yeah, am I supposed right. to know these questions? Well, it's no, I'm going to ask them. No, don't look. Okay. Hi, you guys. So, we had a lot. Well, first of all, thank you so much for all the messages and everything about us selling our house. Um, so, I compiled a list of the most asked questions, and we're going to go over them together. Okay, so question number one. How long has your house been on the market? About 22 hours. That's say? how long it was on the market yeah, before we got a little less than a day. So we listed it on Thursday night. Um, we accepted the offer. Well, we listed it Thursday night. They had the walkthrough Friday night, and we accepted the offer Saturday night. So yeah. it was a very long journey. Okay. <laughs> uh, number two, are you buying or renting? Uh, we're definitely buying. We definitely want to buy. Mm -hmm. We're not completely opposed to like renting for a short time if we can't find a house, but we definitely plan on buying right now. Right. Okay. Um, number three, are you moving to a different state? Nope. We are moving in the same city. Yep. Um, no plans to move out of state anytime soon, so we're going to stay here. My hair, this is like day four hair, so I apologize. Uh, day, uh, question four, why are you moving? I labeled them wrong. Don't, yeah, don't judge so me. that's not what that says. No, because I just yeah, don't okay. don't ask questions. Um, it's I don't know. It's kind of a long story, I guess. The plan has always been somewhat to build the equity in this house, to eventually sell to pay off debts, and we reached a point where we feel like we've gotten sort of max value out of this house. Yeah. So. Agreed. Also, he really needs a garage. Get the um. Needs a garage, maybe a little bit more space, but we're not like set on square footage. Like we don't really care about that. It's mostly just getting the garage. So my front porch is no longer the garage. And um, of course we'd like an extra bedroom, but we could live without the third one if we had to. Right. Um, bigger yeah. space for sure. Bigger space and definitely the money for sure. Um, next question. Do you have another house yet? Um, we got some some other words <laughs> <laughs> we have some choices we do have we, some have, choices. we have some things that we're looking at yeah so we have been waiting for the inspection on this house to come back first mm -hmm. and then once the inspection and all that clears then we're really going to start going hard trying to find another house yeah um are you downsizing definitely the not definitely, definitely not. the not no. so Opposite. i mean we're, we're already in a two-bedroom, one-bath, so there's not a whole lot of downsizing we can do. Right. No, you can't no. get much smaller than this. No. I mean, we could in other places, but not here, no. really. Um, how much are you saving to cover for the taxes? So a lot of people ask, like, how much money we're going to pay in taxes on the profits from the house, and we're not paying anything in taxes. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if it's like this for every state, but for my state, um, if you have lived in the house for two of the last five years and you make less than 250000 in profit, you don't have to pay capital gains tax. So we will not be doing that because we won't be making that much profit. Um, how will you be spending the profits? Um, so split up across different kinds of uh, debt. Thanks. A um, big chunk of it is going to Susanna Student Loans. Mm -hmm. And you want to tell me this one? Because <laughs> you don't remember? No, I do. I just don't okay. want to take all of it. You don't want to steal this spotlight? I don't want to steal your, okay. your big announcement. So, um, the major so I wrote it out. Hold on. I didn't put it on The cars here, right? is what I was... So, basically, if I remember how... I put everything on paper. Like, mm -hmm. I wrote it out specifically. But it's paying off my car, paying off Nick's car, paying off... At least thirty thousand of my student loans. That that's where our give or take comes from, and then taking ten thousand for the down payment for our new house, mm -hmm. um, and then we'll have a little bit of money left over in our pocket. Um, oh, and then I'm also paying like a, a three thousand dollar debt, too. So that's assuming that we'll make a profit of between seventy and seventy five thousand. Um, there's always the inspection could come back and we, we might have to make some adjustments there But that's what I'm Calculating that we'll we'll get after all fees have been paid mm -hmm. in terms of purchases New phone. Oh, yeah, I'm buying a new phone for sure. You guys have seen me complain yeah. about my phone all the time um, And hopefully a new bed Maybe. Hopefully a new bed. Maybe a new bed. 
Yep. You're sleeping on a twin right now. <laughs> that is such That's a lie. Ridiculous. <laughs> she won't. Uh, she won't upgrade. To be fair, to his defense, the bed is how old? I have no idea. Well, it's, he doesn't even know how old it is. How old am I? He's... It's at least. I, I'm embarrassed to say it's way too old. <laughs> The mattress it's, it's is, really old. is at least 13 years old. At, at least, but yeah, yeah, it's it's getting there. And so he's been wanting to buy a new bed for the longest time, and I keep saying no. So maybe we'll get a new bed now. Maybe. Okay. Um. Did you do all of the recent renos with the sale in mind? Um. Half, half, and I'd half. Say, yeah, I'd, I'd say, say half and half too. Yeah. Um. The we would have wound up doing all of them eventually, mm -hmm. but I think the timeline was just sped up because we decided to sell. I actually talked to my realtor. Um, she, she's a family friend, so I talked to her all the time. But I talked to her, I think back in January, about potentially selling the house this summer. I keep moving the table. Yeah, you're bumping the yeah, table. Yeah, I know. A lot. I use my hands a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry. Look at this. It's shaking all over the place. So I talked to her in January, and she said that we could potentially sell it for like 175 back then. And so she gave me like the amount of profits we'd possibly have from selling it then. Damn, really shaky. I it's the <laughs> desk. I'm sorry. I know we really should have this. On no, us. it's fine. Okay, they don't care. Um, and so she said we could sell it for one seventy five. Um, and so we just kind of mm -hmm. thought about it, and we had planned to sell it this summer anyway. But then all the Corona stuff happened, and so she told us to go ahead and wait. But then once we kind of saw how the housing market was going, she's like, "No, right. this is actually a good time to sell." And so. Yeah. We we listed it on Thursday and had it an offer accepted on Saturday. So she was right there. Mm -hmm. Um did you do any upgrades to the house? Uh what, other than the renos? Like they throughout the whole about? time that we've lived here. Upgrades. Um yeah. I mean Yeah. Yeah. The the kitchen. Everybody's, the kitchen everybody's was seen that. Hideous. It was hideous. I'll I'll show um, you pictures later. Everything has new paint on it. Or uh, wall to ceiling. Oh, and everything was re. Uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, retextured. Retextured. Yeah, everything was retextured. Everything was repainted except the one, the spare room. Yeah. Um, um, brand new windows in the bedroom. Right. So the old ones are like single pane crank mm -hmm. style windows that you have to, you know. And so we replaced two of those, the ones in the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. Um, we updated the bathroom, which you guys have seen. Well, everyone who follows me on Instagram has seen that. This house went from zero pantries to one pantry. <laughs> it did. That's absolutely true. Um, oh, we redid the closet in the master bedroom. Oh, uh, yeah. I added shelving to the closet. Mm -hmm. So it's more like a real closet instead mm -hmm. of the, the hideous thing that we had before. Um, mm -hmm. The front yard, we added landscaping uh, to yeah. the front. Some basic landscaping out there. We took out an old great. AC unit that was like, like in-wall AC unit that didn't work. Yeah. And so we took that out and patched over the whole... Um, we made, a lot of stuff. Yeah, made fixes to the roof, added a shed. Mm -hmm. So we've done a lot. All right. I think that's all the questions. What, is there anything that you want to add? Um, no, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't cover everything. Um, what are, what are you, what are you most looking forward to? Garage. In a new house. <laughs> Garage. Garage. hundred percent. Garage. Yeah. What are you least looking forward to? Least looking yeah. forward to? What do you mean? I mean, there's got to be a negative, right? To moving? Yeah. Physically moving. Those, moving. those two days of actually moving is going to suck. Yeah. Um, But the garage thing, I've been, it's been crazy not having a garage for four years. Yeah. Major win for me. Yeah. When we moved into this house, he told me that he would absolutely refuse to move ever again without movers. But now he said it's been long enough. It's so. been long enough. So yeah. we'll do it. We don't have to get movers. And we'll just, just kill ourselves for two days and... We'll be good. We'll be good. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. If you guys have any other questions, you can shoot me a message on Instagram. I don't really check the comments on YouTube, to be honest with you, but it, maybe I'll see it. Um, until next time. Bye, friends.